Sundowns headed to Port Harcourt in Nigeria to take on Anyimba. And although the match would have no bearing on the outcome of the Champions League, the Brazilians were determined to make a clean sweep of the group stages. For us, it's just another game. And I think we have that culture installed within us now at Sundowns that every game, it's a win. We're representing the badge. We're representing a lot of people back home. So there's a lot of motivation for us, even though we've already qualified for the semi-finals. We want to do our people proud and, and to finish the group off on the high. There's a great morale in the team. Everyone's friends. Everyone's joyful and happy. There's a lot of joking and laughter. So everyone's happy and where we need to be mentally. Because once you're a family, you start playing for each other and not yourselves. And that's uh, what this game is about. It's a team sport. You have to play for each other and help each other and support each other. Us being a family and being such, having such a great morale is very important going into these games. The team left Joburg at 11.30 at night and arrived in Lagos at 5.30 in the morning. Not much time to sleep. And no matter how often you travel, you never quite get used to the strain it puts on your body. Yeah, it's been pretty interesting. There's been a couple of points that have been surprising. The flight down wasn't too bad, okay, the timing it was quite late at night and we arrived in Nigeria very early, so you don't really sleep on a plane. And then the connecting flight to get to Port Harcourt, it was a short flight, but it's again nonetheless taxing on the body and what was interesting was arriving at the airport and the airport being in a tent. So uh, that was qu quite shocking for us. So I don't know if they were busy, if they were rebuilding the airport, but the airport itself is intense. So we were actually just trying to set our minds properly to think what kind of hotel or where are we going? Because uh, the airport's in a tent, then we're in trouble. That was a huge difference, you know, it's chalk and cheese. You saw International Airport, which was actually quite decent. It looked like it was burnt down, run down, looked like it was abandoned. There was marquees for, you know, baggage claim. Didn't expect that at all. I was actually quite disappointed to arrive at an airport like that. Oh, the trip was very long, you know, a very tiring one. But then obviously these are the situations that you come across when you're traveling to African teams. Quite the same when I'm with the national team. So the same experience that I'm having, it's the same thing that's happening. The following day, the team headed to Odokiwe Amisimaka Stadium to prepare for the tussle ahead. And true to past experience in West Africa, the team found the playing surface <laughs> less than favorable. Look, it's not the worst pitch. I think uh, there's, we've played on a worst pitch in this Champions League campaign, but it's, it's not a good pitch. It's obviously nothing you can compare to back home, but we've been in many of situations like this before. We've traveled a lot. There's no excuses for us. The conditions are the same for them. We've been to worst pitches in this and have won. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. Their mentality is going to be one of when it all costs. They don't want to exit the group without even recording a win. So make no mistake, there's going to be a war come game time. And so we got to be ready for that. The ball was bouncing a little bit, but not too much. I'm hoping it rains a bit, so at least the ball, we can keep the ball on the floor. It's not the greatest pitch to play on. Quite long grass, quite a sandy pitch, but I think we'll manage to play good football. Not all the players in the squad would play against the Nyimba. For them, it was all about pre-season prep. The next morning, they were hard at work in preparation for the MTN 8 game against Supersport and the tough season that lay ahead. Slowly it's coming out here. I'm in a good position now that uh, I can start playing, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's a long season. I think game by game, it will gradually pick up. For me at this moment, it's important that I put in a lot of hard work. I'm looking forward to it, you know. I'm looking forward to playing with my teammates. I'm looking forward to contributing to the team. I'm looking forward to scoring goals, you know. I'm looking forward to assisting as well my teammates. If I'm in a position of assisting my teammate, I'll give. If I have to chase a player, obviously, for my teammate, I have to play another position for my teammate Dao. You know, it's all about teamwork at the end of the day. Three sevens would form part of the starting lineup for the first time in the Champions League campaign. And understandably for him, the journey to the stadium was a nervy one. I just try to relax and mentally visualize what I'm going to do in the game, how I'm going to do it. My, my opponents are defensive and offensive tactics. I'm cup tight. I can't contribute in terms of me helping the team. But then obviously my chance will come. So when it comes, obviously I'd have to, to work very hard to use it. I'm part of my Melody Sundowns now. So then at the moment what I can do is support my team. We end this together. I think that's the most important thing. As the team warmed up, the clouds built and the team realized the pitch and the Nimba wouldn't be the only things they would be fighting against for the next 90 minutes. This was going to be a game they would never forget. Look, they're a good team. You know, they have a good attack. They're dangerous. They have dangerous players and they have players that have a lot of heart. They're a team that doesn't really give up too easy. So I think now 
with nothing to really lose. They're going to be coming out pretty strong. They're going to be running for every ball. So we've got to be ready to compete with that. If we don't compete with their energy and with their mentality, it's going to be a very long day for us. We have to be smart about the game. Obviously, they're strong. Each and every time they want that contact, we must try and avoid that. To be capable of playing the ball quicker and then our movements are quicker. That's our strength. So we have to play according to our strengths, not according to their strengths, because if they're looking for a fight, and if you give them, we're going to, to fall in the trap and then they're going to beat us. As much as we can, we have to be smart. We have to be one step ahead of them. You know what, got to get into a physical battle with them. If they want to come and hit us, we just got to go and play football. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're on top of the log, so the pressure is really on them to secure points and not be defeated in every game they've played. So we just got to go out there and have fun. And when we have fun, that's when we play our best football. Strong enough to win the game. Play for yourself, play for your family, play for the team. Play for the fight, play for the name. One, two, three, one! I never played in a pitch like that. It's a very good experience to play against a Yimba. And for us to play in that pitch as a team, because it takes a lot of character. I mean, the rain made it worse. The team came back from a 1-0 deficit through a piece of Tao ingenuity, and the game was back on. We made a good move, me and Timber. And I think the guy stabbed me, and Timber took a shot, and I saw it up in the air. I was like, OK, let me try it. Let's go from there and see what happens. And luckily enough, I scored. Then the heavens opened, and a downpour ensued that made playing shoeshine and piano almost impossible. The locals, used to the conditions, showed their dominance. Yeah, I thought we were, we were back in the game, and we were going to score more. And unfortunately, it didn't go away. Like, we lost. The goal doesn't mean so much to me, because I would have loved to score and win. And the guys worked so much. They worked so hard. I'm glad I didn't manage to qualify before this match. Because imagine if we didn't qualify and we lose the match. Sundowns went down 3-1 to Anyimba, but it was the conditions and not the football that will be remembered in this encounter. Yeah, they were extremely tough. Couldn't play our normal game. So that tells you how difficult the pitch was. Because if it does a good surface, we would have played our normal game. But it made it more hard, especially when it started to rain. We couldn't move the ball around. And so it was, it was a bit funny, because that, I don't think that's how football should be. Sundown, spurred on by their defeat, went on to beat Supersport to progress in the MTN 8. And this made Percy and his teammates even more resolute for their Champions League semi-final. Semi-finals, that's a big stage. First time I'm there, look, for me to win it. That's all, that's the ultimate goal for me. To say, if we have a chance, then let's show you that we have a chance and, and make use of it. I'm looking forward to the semi-finals and the final in Club World Cup. So are we, Percy. So are we. And that's it for this episode of Sky's the Limit. Till next time, good night and God bless.